Uber's new driving modes, game changer or trap? Hey everyone, welcome back to Best Referral Driver. Today, we're diving into Uber's latest update, the new, standard, and, advantage, driving modes. What do these changes mean for drivers, and is Uber really helping, or just trying to control the narrative? Let's break it down. Overview of the new modes Uber is rolling out two new driving modes in nine cities across the US, Standard Mode and Advantage Mode. Drivers are placed into one of these modes daily based on their acceptance rate, cancellation rate, driver ratings, and driver safety score. Standard Mode – This is the default setting. Advantage Mode – Offers an extra 5% earnings boost. So, how do you qualify for Advantage Mode? You need to maintain high scores in the categories mentioned earlier. The intent behind the changes Uber claims these modes aim to address issues like high rider wait times and low driver acceptance rates. The idea is to encourage drivers to accept more rides by offering differentiated earnings. But is that all there is to it? Some drivers believe there's more at play. Driver reactions and criticism Here's what drivers are saying. They feel this is just a ploy to get them to accept more bad rides. The upfront pricing model has already driven many off the platform. Now, with these new modes, drivers are feeling pressured to take on more low-paying or inconvenient rides just to stay in advantage mode. One driver said, it's a race to the bottom, Uber is testing how far they can push us to maximize their profits. And it's not just Uber. Platforms like DoorDash have similar tiered programs, pushing gig workers to accept more jobs, reducing the flexibility that made these gigs appealing in the first place. The economics of gig work. Let's talk economics. Researchers and economists argue that Uber's strategies often focus on corporate profits at the expense of drivers. By pushing drivers to accept more rides, Uber maintains a larger pool of available drivers, ultimately benefiting their bottom line. But where does that leave the drivers? It's a delicate balance between providing quick service to riders and fair pay to drivers, but many believe Uber is tipping the scales too far in their favor. Strategies for drivers So, what can you do as a driver? 1. Understand the criteria. Know what affects your placement in standard versus advantage mode. Focus on maintaining high ratings and safety scores. 2. Be strategic with rides. Don't just accept every ride blindly. Weigh the pros and cons of each trip. 3. Stay informed. Join online forums or driver groups to share experiences and tips. 4. Diversify your gigs. Consider supplementing your income with other platforms if Uber's changes negatively impact you. Conclusion In the end, the new driving modes may offer some benefits, but it's crucial to stay aware of how these changes impact you. Uber's focus might be on improving efficiency, but drivers are the backbone of the service. Keep in mind, your time and effort are valuable. What do you think? Are these new modes beneficial, or just another way for Uber to squeeze more out of drivers? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more updates on the gig economy.